हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल आई एम दत्तात्रेय सोनौने आई हैव कम्प्लीटेड माई मास्टर्स इन माइक्रोबायोलॉजी टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट बायो रेमिडिएशन बायो रेमिडिएशन इज द टेक्निक यूज टू कन्वर्ट टॉक्जिक केमिकल्स इन टू लेस टॉक्जिक फॉर्म बाई यूजिंग माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम्स बायो मीन्स लिविंग और बायोलॉजिकल एंड रेमिडिएशन मीन्स रेमिडी सो बेसिकली वी आर प्योरीफाइंग रेमिडी using microorganisms that is biological things or living things in simple words bioremediation is the use of biological processes to return the environment to its original state uh, uh, bacteria uh, that are uh, aerobic or an and anaerobic can be used for this process uh, example actinomycetes actinomycetes are filamentous bacteria so basically why these bacteria are used what is the what is uh, what is the benefit to them that they are converting that toxic chemical into less toxic form that toxic is toxic for us but our environment but for their for the microorganisms it is their food so they are using the remedy for carbon nitrogen or minerals mineral as a mineral source so that's why they are, they convert Uh, toxic forms into less toxic forms Te less toxic forms so <laughs> there are two types of bioremediation in situ bioremediation and ex situ bioremediation in situ means in the original place and ex situ means uh, ex situ is done outside the original place in situ methods are carried out on site such as polluted area uh and uh, ex situ methods are carried out off site such as uh, laboratory zoo garden aquarium etc uh in in, in situ bioremediation experimental conditions are difficult to maintain maintain uh, in nature uh, the experimental conditions that like that is the ph uh, or uh, moisture or water content these conditions cannot be maintained easily and uh, uh, in ex situ bioremediation experimental conditions can be easily maintained uh, because we are performing the uh, bioremediation in laboratory uh, in situ bioremediations uh, the process is uh, less less expensive and ex situ bioremediation process is uh, expensive process Uh, chemical uh, let's take a example of uh, uh, some chemical industry uh, chemical industry releases industrial waste uh, in in this waste there is uh, they, there are uh, various harmful chemicals uh, th these chemicals uh, are uh, treat, treated in waste treatment plant so basically microbes are added so they convert toxic uh, toxic pr uh, toxin present in industrial waste into less toxic form and then this water is released in the rivers or uh, lakes <coughs> biostimulation let's talk about biostimulation 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 involves the modification of the environment to stimulate existing bacteria capable of bioremediation Uh, sometimes what hap what happens that uh, in industrial waste um, the nutrients available or the rate limiting factors are less in the water so we add bas basically we add the rate limiting nutrients and electron acceptors such as nitrogen phosphorus oxygen and carbon so th this is biostimulation we are stimulating their growth that's why the name bio stimulation bio augmentation in this we artific artificially add microorganisms which are able to degrade harmful pollutants if uh, the industrial waste contains uh, very harmful chemicals like uh, that microbes can or natural microbes cannot cannot grow in this uh, polluted water so we uh, genetically modify microorganisms and add into that water and uh, 
then they uh, pure purify the contaminated water that's it thank you these are, these are the references that i have used